Around 3 billion years ago, two black holes crashed into each other to form one super massive black hole. This collision was so huge that it literally shook the fabric of space time, sending gravitational ripples across the universe. Researchers announced that these ripples were just detected last January. I'm going to tell you everything you need to know here for you on IO. What is good little spuds? My name is Charlotte and you're watching Inform Overload. Over a century ago, Albert Einstein predicted the existence of gravitational waves in 1916 as part of his famous theory of general relativity. Gravitational waves are ripples in the curvature of space time. Einstein predicted that gravitational waves transport energy as gravitational radiation. He believed that space time can shake like a bowl of jelly when massive objects swing their weight around. Scientists from the Laser Interferometer Gravitational Wave Observatory or LIGO have confirmed Einstein's prediction because they actually observed the effects of gravitational waves. As they pass by, they cause space to lengthen in one direction and compress in the other. This squeezed and stretched the LIGO detectors ever so slightly that they caused laser beams to cover slightly different distances as they bounced back and forth. The spokesperson for LIGO said the key thing to take away from this is we are moving from novelty to new observational science and new astronomy of gravitational waves. According to LIGO observations, the ripples indicate a single black hole that was formed has a mass of around 49 times the mass of our sun and it's around 3 billion light years away. This this is the third gravitational wave detection from a black hole merger since they started the LIGO project in 2015. In those two short years, LIGO has validated Einstein's prediction. The study of black holes is an elusive one. They are very mysterious, but with these new observations, scientists are clearly developing a better understanding of black hole astronomy. These findings, which are a collection of the works of 1300 authors, will be published in the Journal of Physical Review Letters. Okay guys, I'm going to respond to some comments from our video, NASA is flying a spaceship straight into the sun. Iderp said, I'm the real potato queen and flying a rocket into the sun seems like a waste of money. I agree with the second part of that statement, but the first part is clearly potato treason. Off with your sprout. Bloop Doop said, why don't they fly it into the sun at night when it's cold? <laughs> Good one. It's Injector said, Jared is not a potato anymore. Jared will always be a potato. Hope you guys enjoyed having him guest host this week. It was definitely nice having him around the office. But it's back to your regularly scheduled potato queen programming. That is all for now. Thank you for watching IO. Don't forget to smash that like if you enjoyed the video. Subscribe to IO for all your daily news and I'll see you in the next one.